Do you want to know what the oldest marketing technique out there is? It's storytelling. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm going to teach you how to create stories that'll sell and help craft your brand. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this video, and if you're on YouTube, click the bell as well. That will release more videos and more information, even go live on YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn, you'll get notified. Question for you, have you ever used storytelling in your marketing? If you haven't, you should. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to use storytelling just like I do, so you can get results. The first example I have about storytelling is a significant objects project. There was this guy, he bought 200 items for $129. He then took those items, created a story around them, each individual one, posted it on eBay for each object, and can you guess how much he ended up selling everything for? A whopping grand total of $8,000. That's the power of storytelling. Step one, define your core message. If you don't have a core message, your story is going to continually ramble and ramble on. There has to be a point to a story. You can't just tell a story because you want more sales or more conversions or more people to follow you. If there's no point, people aren't going to know why they should continually pay attention to the story. Step two, decide what kind of story you're going to tell. One version of storytelling is to incite action. It's to get other people to take action and do something. If you tell a story that motivates people, you can get them to take action. Another way of storytelling is to tell people about yourself. You can have a story about yourself, ups and downs you went through, it could be motivational. This can help inspire other people, jump on your bandwagon, follow your personal brand, follow you over the social web. Personal storytelling is amazing. When people get to know you, they relate more, they're more likely to follow you, and your personal brand is more likely to grow. Conveying value is another way of telling a story that gets people to join your bandwagon. What I mean by that is if other people believe in the same values as you do, they're more likely to relate with you and follow you as well. This not only helps you generate sales for your company, it also helps with your personal brand. The last way that people typically storytell is to educate and pass knowledge on. When you educate and you're passing knowledge on through a story, they're much more likely to be engaged, hooked, and learn that knowledge and be able to execute on it in the future. Step three, you need to establish your call to action. If you tell a story, you get people hooked, they're all about you, they're about your personal brand, they're about your business, but they don't know what to do next, you're not really gonna see any sales or conversions. You need to tell them to do things like check out your company, follow you on the social web, join your email list, whatever it may be. It doesn't have to be a major commitment. It doesn't have to be where they have to buy something right away. It could just be as simple as joining your list so that way you can tell them more stories, build more of a rapport with them, build more of a relationship, and then eventually convert them into a customer. Now, before I let you go, because you have all the steps, I want to give you three quick bonus tips. I've been storytelling for a long time, and I found that when a good story includes these three main things, it does much better. So let's go over these bonus tips. Bonus tip number one, you need to have characters. This allows people to see themselves in the story and be part of it. Without that, there'll be a disconnect between you telling the story and the person listening on the other end always have characters and make them relatable. Number two, you need a conflict. Without the conflict, there's not gonna be that hook that gets people in there waiting to figure out what's happening next. When you don't have conflict and everything's hunky-dory and roses, then people are like, okay, cool, this is boring. Always have conflict in a story. And of course, this is the last bonus tip, you need resolution. You got the conflict, you need the resolution to go with it. If you follow all those tips plus the bonus tips, you'll do well when it comes to storytelling. If you need help with your marketing, your conversion rate, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll answer it.